As I talked about in a recent video, the Perception trait is a very strong combat rig trait in Infinite Warfare, and I would argue that it's one of the best in the game when you use it properly. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the different ways that I use it that make it extremely effective. The Perception trait description says your HUD pulse is yellow when enemies out of your view are targeting you. The key part here is out of your view, and from what I can tell from using this, from experience, it means that just people who are not in your field of view. So obviously there's the easy way to use this, which is just put it on and not worry about it, and when your screen pulses yellow, pretty much spin around and you'll probably find the person who's looking at you. But there are some more advanced ways to use it, and I'll show you these with a few clips. So in the first one here, I run past the teammate and down this hallway. My HUD lights up yellow, and since we know that if there was an enemy in front of me, my screen wouldn't light up yellow, we know that they must be behind me. But it only lit up once, and stops as I get closer to this wall on the right. So knowing that my HUD isn't yellow anymore, we can look at the minimap and eliminate some areas where we know the enemy can't be anymore, because the line of sights don't line up. And doing this process of elimination, I know he must be in this remaining area over here. So I post up and slowly creep around that corner and get the kill. Another way to use it is in this clip here. This central hallway on Frontier is always hectic and filled with tons of enemies. And knowing that I'm using Perception, instead of running into the hallway and looking for enemies, I just slide right through it. Think about it. I was in the hallway for as little time as possible, so even if someone did see me slide through it, it would have been very difficult for them to kill me. And I let Perception do the work for me. Instead of me looking to see if there are enemies, I would know if there were enemies just by my screen pulsing yellow. And because I do that and slide through the hallway, I put myself at very minimal risk, and I can find out if there are people in the hallway. And it doesn't light up yellow this time, so I know that nobody was there. And this is one of my favorite ways to use it. Now, later in that same game, I do the same thing. And this time, it does light up yellow. And this highlights exactly what I was saying. I was only in the hallway for a very short amount of time, and even though that person did see me and get some shots on, it was still very hard for them to kill me, and I still got away with it still being alive. And if we go back in this clip a little bit, we can see that my screen pulsed yellow twice, and the second time that it pulsed yellow, I was basically through the doorway. So we know that this enemy can't be just in that main hallway, they must have more of an angle on me. And if we look at the minimap, we can identify two main areas where the enemy could be. So what I do is, I lay prone and look through the doorway I just came through, and post up so that one of those areas I can't see, and I can only focus on the other one. That way I'm at a very low risk position, and can kill them if they come through that one doorway. But sure enough, my teammate runs into the other one, and kills that enemy. And one final clip here, I go down the stairs, and I know this is a very risky area, lots of people like to hang out in here too. So an enemy could have been down the hallway, and they could be in that area on the left. And I also know that if the enemy's on the area in the left, they're much closer to me, and thus they're much more likely to kill me than if someone was down the hallway, which is a long range engagement, is much harder to get a kill. So I go into that area looking on the left in case there is somebody there, and not facing the rest of the hallway, because I know my screen will just light up yellow, if there's someone in the rest of that hallway. And I know my focus needs to be on the area on the left because that's more dangerous. And sure enough, there's nobody on the left and my screen does light up yellow. So I immediately use my nano shot, which supercharges my health regen, which allows me to heal faster just in case that enemy does get a bullet on me. And I do get down behind cover and then pop back up and get an easy kill. And the best part about that was I knew that there was an enemy down the hallway without even having to look down the hallway. So I didn't even need to use my eyes, I could just think about getting behind cover and protecting myself from getting hit. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, just some good ways to use perception beyond the straightforward obvious way, and if you do use these and get very good at them, it's extremely powerful and like I said, probably one of the best traits in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button if you did, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.